So, a few years ago, there was a big scandal in Europe surrounding horse meat when it turned out nearly every meat-based dish ever was secretly horse meat in disguise. And ever since then, kind of the, the reputation of horse meat has been tarnished, and even then, it's not something we really eat anyway. Meanwhile, in Japan, they eat horse meat raw, and today, we're going to go and try it and see what it tastes like. And unfortunately, uh, we are joined by Ryotaro for this, for this trip. There raw is. horse, raw horse, raw horse, <laughs> raw horse. We're like... drinking too much apple juice again. You sound like this. Oh yeah, I think I've most, weird the most hyper man ever. Exactly. Ridiculous man. But anyway, I'm gonna stuff you up uh, with uh, uh, <laughs> not only with a horse, but beef and chicken, and also I'm gonna stuff you oh, up God. with garlic. Garlic? Yeah. 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 Garlic. Today, we're visiting two neighbouring towns with two distinct culinary identities in the far northern region of Almori. Gonahe Town has been famous for its horses for over a thousand years, first as a town that bred horses for samurai, and more recently for its lean, juicy cuts of horse. But before we stuff ourselves with horses, we're first dropping into the nearby town of Taco. Now, Taco Town might sound like an exciting upmarket Mexican restaurant, but in fact, this rural town is actually Japan's biggest exporter of garlic. On first glance, while passing through Taco, you wouldn't know that the town is obsessed with garlic. Um, well, apart from the garlic streetlights. Oh yeah, and the uh, the garlic character. Ah, oh, and I guess there's the unique variation on cola. That that might give it away. You can sense there's a real obsession with garlic in this town just by looking at the cola, which is garlic in it. Garlic Coca-Cola. Never had that, so let's try that. This is my first drink of the day. This is my breakfast as well, so you can definitely smell it. Oh. There's, a, there's a kind of a spiciness to the flavour of the Coke that makes it actually quite nice. Bloody hell, who'd have thought garlic and Coke actually worked? Since the, uh, the, the taste of the garlic is quite mild, Normally garlic is used for like the spices or you mix with something, the flavor, yeah. yeah, just flavoring something. But here, you, you actually can eat the, the whole, garlic, the whole <laughs> thing and you, you will actually like it. One characteristic of Taco's garlic is its high sugar content, which means you can eat entire cloves without setting your mouth on fire. Okay, so uh, now uh, what we've got here is uh, one whole garlic, oh, but they garlic. grill it. Yeah, they grill it. And, uh, I know, how do I do it? So I mean, they Lips. actually gave us a fork, so I think we're just gonna dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Ooh, look at this. Oh my god. I need to declare something to the world. Oh god. This is the best garlic ever I've had. I've had. The best garlic so, you've ever had? Yes. I don't know, I, I can't really explain well, how it's to, good. Until we have a fucking 4D <laughs> video experience. That's true. With the smell, right? With the, yeah. Yeah. Um, Again, it's mild and stuff, the same thing, but uh, it's really creamy, I would say. Kind of. If I, if I close my eyes and ate that again, it's like eat, eating a jacket potato that's been mildly flavoured with garlic. It has a very silky, smooth kind of texture to it. Take all your preconceptions about garlic and discard them. This is the next level of garlic. <laughs> How do you try to hide? <laughs> Souvenirs. It's not every day you see garlic cake. Not for yourself? One of them might be. Oh, okay. One of them might be. Okay, this is uh, the restaurant uh, in Gonohe town that the, the, uh, they're famous for uh, the horse meat. And we're going to have a barbe horse barbecue. What, what is their obsession with horses? What, how did it come about? Okay, here in the Gonohe town, they've been eating uh, this horse meat for like last 1,200 years. Can you believe that? Older than you. So this is um, uh, the horse meat. Sakura niku we call it in Japanese. Sakura niku. Sakura niku means cherry blossom meat. It's very romantic. Yeah, it is, but even though... <laughs> Even if it is a butchered horse. horse. So basashi, raw horse meat, is uh, pretty common throughout Japan. This isn't. This is actually pretty rare, right? Like yeah, it's uh, very, grilled very rare. barbecue horse meat. That's the first time I saw it. It's kind of a local specialty to this town. So this is my first time to actually have horse meat that's been grilled, like on a barbecue. So I don't really know what to expect. Mmm. The key word here is juicy. It's very juicy. It tastes yeah. a lot like beef, but yeah. um, unlike Japanese beef, which is very fatty, this is quite lean. It's juicier than beef, 
and it's slightly chewier the beef as well but it's a satisfying kind of Chew. chewy texture right oh that's really good and apparently it's lower in fat cholesterol and calories right you can you can eat horse meat all day every day and you'll never get fat or never die Stuffed full of garlic and horses, Ryotaro has got one last local dish up his sleeve to finish me off from nearby Hachinohe City. Oh, I'm absolutely stuffed and yet we've got one more final round uh, to go but I'm not going to complain. It's a kind of free range chicken called Shamrock Chicken. It's got the royal seal of approval. There are 60 brands of free range chicken across Japan and this is the only one that has the royal seal of approval. The only one that the royal family of Japan eat. It's good for the emperor. Good, good for me. Not sure about that. <laughs> you don't have that royal. What is going on with this? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's just rename the video to Dining with Gollum. Dining with Gollum. <laughs> Dining with Gollum. I want that ring. I, I want that ring. Yeah. Don't remember that line. But I don't remember that right <laughs> I want that ring. <laughs> yeah, I think if there's one thing to take away from today, it is if I was ever stuck on a desert island and I had to take one animal with me, that animal would be an Almori horse. Because not only would I be able to ride it around, and not only would it be able to carry my garlic Coca-Cola around for me, but if shit hit the fan and times got tough, I'd be able to chop it up, eat it, and have it over a barbecue, safe in the knowledge that it would be a truly delicious animal. If you're looking for the best cuts of horse in Japan, an abundance of garlic and a taste of chicken worthy of the Emperor's kitchen, Hachino here's a two and a half hour bullet train ride north of Tokyo. For more information on where we visited in this video, you can find the details in the description box below. But for now guys, as always, many thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Yeah. What happens is that the, uh, there's going to be uh, some flow of horse oil. Horse I mean, oil. Horse oil. Yeah, because we the, the, we are grilling. <laughs> are the you horse just oil making fat. up words and terms as you go along? Well, yeah, horse, horse oil. fat. Horse fat. Horse fat. But it becomes a horse oil in the end. Horse and oil. Horse oil will come uh, will come into this hole here. Right. And we're going to use this horse oil, to actually horse oil, to grill the meat later on, because otherwise it's going to be burnt. Every part of the horse is used. Yeah. Apart from the tail.